Can we? All right. We've had a couple of times when Donald Trump has had a very bad, no good week. Um, and e even just like the, the things we mentioned already, the fact that 17 Republicans sided with Democrats to you know, allow the infrastructure bill to proceed, which is just normal governing. Like that's so basic. This is going to be a $1.1, $1 $1.2 trillion, depending on loan guarantees, by the way. Which, again, when you loan this money into existence, it's actually more so because they're seeding equity in this. And part of, oh, Infrastructure Bank, come on, Infrastructure Bank. Just stay in there, mm. and you'll turn that $1.1 trillion into about $5 trillion over the next 10 years. I'm just saying. Just saying. Um, do it. Just remember, remember, remember who told you to leave broadband in and the red states won't be able to say no to it? Remember who said that last year? Remember? All right. Uh, it's the same guy who said it was going to be Biden-Harris by 7 million votes with 306 and uh, Trump didn't have a chance and all the election attempts would fail as would January 6th. Remember that guy? Yeah, same guy told you to leave in broadband and put that as an essential part of new infrastructure spending, and the Republicans would not be able to say no to it. It's going to pass. This bill will pass specifically because of broadband. They uh, Honestly, these, these idiots would allow their bridges to fail. No. They would allow their roads to collapse. They don't care. But the Internet is how they get their ads to their people anymore. That's it. You, you can't, you know, you, you can't send out, you know, uh, post YouTube videos about lizard people drinking, you know, <laughs> lizard pedivores running the government. You can't post those with crap internet. So even the farthest right are like, well, no, no, no. All the QAnon people are like, I, it would be much easier to post these memes um, <laughs> of uh, Hillary Clinton as a lizard with Huma Abedin. Um, you know, uh, hanging upside down as one of the Lost Boys. It would be easier to post this meme in a much larger size if I had fiber optic out here in Podunk, you know, in, in Pork Knuckle, Wisconsin. So um, that that alone will further this. And because it's so basic, it's just infrastructure. Come on, people. Like even even you know the Republicans who I think their idea of good governance is. Um, um, said with a German accent, getting the trains to run on time, right? Yeah. Um, that's it my favorite guy in the whole world, right? That's the guy who got the trains running on the right. So uh, that uh, alone was, made Trump miserable. He freaked out about it. He, he, he sent out multiple mi uh, you know, micro blogs, his little statements he does on his website, just... No, you're being suckered into, you know, this is a, the straight track to socialism. I can't imagine how he would have reacted to the Hoover Dam. But um, <laughs> this is, so, and, and those two things alone sent him, you know, reeling. Then we find out that, the you know, the DOJ has released notes to the Oversight Committee of Donald Trump uh, saying that, you know, he like, look, just say it was corrupt and me and Jim Jordan and Devin Nunes and all these people will say it was it was thrown and we'll get all the uh, Republican senators we have compromise on to sign on to their uh, election objections. And then that should give us enough time for my supporters to to walk down peacefully and patriotically. But if Mike Pence won't reseat the electors, then we attack. That's essentially it. I mean, that's that's the plan, right? Mm -hmm. And and thank God again that Donald Trump, uh, for all the Hitler comparisons to him, is dumb Hitler because he never he, even as bad as Hitler's strategic decisions were, Trump was like you know hold my pervitin. So then <laughs> those notes get released, and uh, the uh, Justice Department, um, Biden's Justice Department, says that. Uh, Congress should be allowed to see Trump's taxes. Uh, former President Donald Trump's tax return should be turned over to House Democrats who tried unsuccessfully for years to get the documents. The Justice Department said Friday in a legal analysis, reversing a position taken two years ago. The decision marks another significant legal setback for Trump, who has fought a multifaceted campaign to keep his tax record secret from prosecutors, lawmakers, 
and the public. Trump was the first president in decades to refuse to share his tax returns as a candidate or while in office. By the way, you can look at uh, Biden's tax returns. They're public. They are. They're public. Go look. Uh, the uh, the uh, Earlier this year, Trump's tax returns were turned over to the Manhattan District Attorney after a separate legal fight in which the Supreme Court declined to intervene. The prosecutor's office has been examining Trump's finances as part of a criminal probe of his businesses and has indicted Trump's longtime financial officer, Alan Weisselberg, on tax charges. Weisselberg has denied the charges. While he was president, Trump successfully beat back efforts by the House Ways and Means Committee to see his tax returns, including a battle in federal court. But the new opinion from the Justice Department's official, uh, Office of Legal Counsel and the committee's request to see the records as part of its oversight of the Internal Revenue Service's presidential audit program is valid and should be fulfilled. Oh, my lord. One of just, just from bad to worse. Can you imagine? I, I'm just saying Trump's golf game is going to be mildly off this week. It's just like, how can he sleep like this? I guess with the help of prescription drugs. Yeah, well, I mean, I don't think he does, right? I mean, the, the story has always been that he sleeps four hours a night, which is insane and completely unhealthy and... Yeah. And, I mean, you'd have to be gacked out of your mind. I mean, that sounds like pervitin or something. It sounds like a, a disorder for, you know. And with that level of sleep deprivation, you can't make reasonable decisions. You know, it's it, it's hard no. to, you know. When, yeah, when you're skipping sleep a few days in a row, it starts to affect your job performance. But if you're living like that for years, and it's... If it's chemically induced, you're, I mean, you're a stroke waiting to happen. If it's not chemically induced, you have a hormonal imbalance of some sort or an adrenal problem, and that's going to come crashing down at some point. Like, uh, you know, I, I, we're, we are this close to Trump calling Michael Jackson's doctor. <laughs> and You know what I mean? Going, uh, I've heard a lot of good things about anesthetic anesthesia you they anesthesia you and you can take a nap that's that's where that is it is not healthy um and Nita Blake in our chat room saying Trump's golf game is always off because he cheats uh, yes but that's he's, yeah. that's his way of keeping it on um and uh happy birthday Ruby Redhead it is also by the way to everybody listening uh Johnny Millions birthday was two days ago so we're all wishing Johnny a happy belated birthday on the show today Yay. um in whatever form you would like that to take we love you Johnny and we uh, wish you many many more Johnny and I are yeah, the yeah. same age but for a couple of months so oh, yes. you'll have to let me know how this one feels uh <laughs> I will be turning 52 September uh 25th and uh, I will be You're in Washington. Love it. Come on in, the lot is fine. I'm excited about it. Um, it's it's nice to have my age finally catching up to my intellect. You know, yeah. um, <laughs> where you know when you're when you're as smart as I am and you're 22, no one listens. You're like Cassandra. When you're 52, they're like, all right, he's been around, he's been through it a little bit. He's saying the same stuff he was saying then, but at least you know, it it, it obviously must have paid off. You know, what I mean? it's like dietary advice. Never take, you know, dietary or workout advice from a 21-year-old fitness model who's in great shape and goes, I can eat anything I want on this. This is awesome. And then you see them when they're 65 and they have a bloated gut and back knee and their teeth have fallen out. And like, I don't know what went wrong. It was all going so well. Like, dude, it's called being 22. It's a, mm. you, None of what you were doing was working. It's just nothing could have, you know, turned the other way. And I think, you know... That's what Trump has always floated on the idea of uh, genetics, you know, that like his genes have always protected oh. him, right? Which is hilarious. Oh, uh, boy. <laughs> um, I, I can't imagine what it's like to be in Trump's circle right now. Now, we just found out, of course, that Mark Meadows went and visited with him and called it a, uh, a cabinet meeting. Um, which is, you know, everybody's taking as a sign of, you know, that they're planning an insurrection and that he's playing into the whole lie that Trump is still president and that he's going to be reinstated. They called a meeting with all. Trump a cabinet meeting? Yes. Right. Holy, holy. Um, now, granted, um, there is a possibility that Melania makes them meet in cabinets. That You know, whenever she comes in. Sure, the, yeah. Whenever... Whenever she comes into the kitchen, um, 
like that ever happens. But, but, but work with me. Work with me, Donnie. That she uh, does she even it, live it mark- in the same like general vicinity? No, rumor has it she's in uh, Maryland. Oh. At, uh, she and yeah, the idea is that she and Baron live in Maryland at uh, at her parents' house, and he goes mm. to a special school there outside of DC. Okay. Um, but uh, again, um, as let's not forget, she's a birther, and her whole f Christmas remarks, you know. It, it don't exactly make her an innocent bystander and all this stuff. Yeah. Especially when she's our camp. It's, yeah. Like I, I'm a big believer in wives and families are off limits and, uh, until they're adults that campaign for the parent then, or the mate, then, you know, which, and I, the reason I say that with mate as well is because let's just say Matt Gates decides to run for president in 2024 as a way to keep himself out of prison. Let's say this is dragging on. And he does this as kind of a high profile thing. There is a chance that his uh, he might be engaged or married to a minor at that point, or attempted to do that. I don't know what the laws are in Florida, but they're pretty lax, I think. Uh, we'll, we're going to take a break. Seven seven three seven six three nine two seven eight is our number. We'll be back right after this. <laughs> 